welcome back to our channel so guys today we are going to create this electrical enclosure box in solid work so in this video i will tell you how to use sheet metal parameters like uh, edge flange extruded cut how to use lures and uh, i will upload many video tutorials according to lure how to use custom lures in solid work so let's see how we uh, create this part in solid work so i hope you will enjoy our tutorial so first we see the animation view for this electrical enclosure box so just we first we see this assembly how we uh, assemble this part in uh, solid work so let's see so here we will perform the animation how we fix this sheet metal box to uh, any place so look so this is the exploded view of this uh, and assembly of this sheet metal enclosure box so look how we create this sheet metal design in solid works so here go to the file select new select part okay and now here we change the top plane so first we change background plane white select top plane right click sketch normal and here we create center rectangle so go to the rectangle select center rectangle select this center point and create up to here okay now go to the smart dimension select this line make this line 100 mm okay now again we select this line make it also 100 not 100 we will keep 80 mm okay now here go to the sheet metal select base flame here we will keep the thickness of this sheet metal uh, 1.2 mm okay now again we just uh, apply the material so go to the metal select jing and select met jing okay now go to the edge frame select this edge drag below side okay now select this edge also here we will change the default radius so we will uh, change into 1.2 mm bend radius okay now angle will be 90 degree and here we will uh, keep the flange length so make it 50 mm here we will make the material inside okay so here we will create this now again we uh, just look how we apply the edge flange again go to the edge flange select this edge drag this side select this one also and here we will change the default radius 1.2 mm and make the length 20 okay so here we will 1.2 now material inside so we will create this one so here we apply the chamfer so we will keep the chamfer 3 mm so apply all this corner separately now select this one okay so we will apply the chamfer so again we create the sketch on this face so select right click sketch normal and here we create center rectangle select this one select this center point and create up to here okay now here we just select go to the smart dimension select this line and make this length 
will be 60 mm select this line make it also 60 mm okay now here we change this uh, rectangle to convert entity so select this all here we will select for construction okay now here we create four circle to this corner point so go to the circle select this corner point select this one so we will keep four numbers of circle and this one okay go to the smart dimension select this circle and make it 9 diameter okay now here we will select this circle press with shift key select all the circle and now here make the relation equal okay so it will be 9 diameter all the circle so here is time to make the student cut so go to the feature select student cut and make it uh, cut up to next or yeah, link to thickness ok so here we will cut this portion now again select this face right click sketch normal and here we create circle for cutout so first we create center line select the center line select this point and this one so here we will find the midpoint so again go to the center line we create center line up to here ok now we create circle select this point create up to here go to the smart dimension select this circle and here we will make it 8.5 diameter ok now select this corner edge and this center of this circle make this cap 70 mm ok go to the center line and here we create one horizontal center line and keep one vertical center line for mirror purpose so we select this one select this we will mirror so again we create one vertical center line for mirror ok now go to the mirror command select both circle select mirror about so we will keep this center line we will keep the mirror ok now here we will make the student cut so go to the feature select student cut make it link to thickness ok now again we create the lures so first we select this face and make it normal here we will go to the design library now select forming tool here uh, select lures and now we select this lure select this first we are uh, just so it will not work so we will uh, go to the forming tool select right click select forming tool folder so it will work again go to the lures select this lure drag up to here ok now here we will make flip tool and here we make the position so go to the normal here go to the smart dimension select this edge and this center point this center point make this gap so we will keep 25 mm ok now again select this point this line so here we will keep the gap 15 mm ok now here we will create this lower so here we will create so we will make the pattern linear pattern so go to the linear pattern 
select direction so we will select this line okay now features to pattern so select this lower here we will make the gap between this lower so we will make 15 mm gap and we will uh, create four numbers okay now look how we make the pattern of this lures so again we will mirror this lures to this side so mirror plane we will select right plane select this one okay now look how we create this side also so again we go to the sheet metal here we will select edge plane now select this edge drag below side here we will uh, keep the length so we will now flange length so we will first we apply the band radius 1.2 mm ok now again go to the flange length so we will keep this one up to vertex ok now here we select this point where it will keep so we will select this point ok now make material inside so look how we create this sheet metal box enclosure box so we will uh, change the color so we will keep a little dark black ok now we save this file to our destination so go to the desktop create one new folder select and name it as for your require so we will keep electrical box ok now we save this file so again go to the uh, assembly ok now here we will create assembly so first we drag this part to this assembly now change the background to plain white ok now here we will create base plate where we will fix this sheet metal enclosure box so go to the insert component select new part select this face make it normal here we will create one center rectangle go to the center rectangle select this point create up to here go to the smart dimension select this line make this line 160 mm ok now select this line keep it 113 mm ok now here we will extrude this sketch so go to the uh, extruded boss base here we will select direction and keep 20 mm now exit this sketch so here we will apply the material select this one appearance go to this uh, below side select this material we will select organic and select orange juice color ok so it looks much better so here we will apply the bolts to this circular cutout for looking how we assemble this seat enclosure box so go to the design library so first we see this appearance go to the design library 
now here we select toolbox add-ins ok now here we will select NSI matrix select bolt and screw and now we select this machine is here we will select socket head screw ok now we select and drag and move to this circular cutout ok we will make uh, this M8 so it will uh, select it automatically according to the circular circle diameter we will keep length 25 make the thread systematic ok now we will uh, drag and fix this bolt ok now exit this sketch ok so we will uh, make assembly to this seat enclosure box base plate nut, bolts so we will see the exploded view so go to the exploded view now separately select all this bolt and make uh, this upside arrow so we will select and drag upside we will make the exploded view now here we select done again we select this base plus and flip below side ok now we will make the uh, animation so go to the motion study now here we will select create animation ok now again select select exploded view next and here we will keep 10 second duration will be keep 5 finish select this one select collapse next here we will select 15 and here we duration we will keep 5 finish so here we will see the animation of this exploded collapse and uh, assembly view so look This is the exploded view of this assembly and now this is the collapse of this part. So look how we create this sheet metal enclosure box. So this is very helpful for uh, beginners student and uh, I hope you will enjoy our tutorial. Thanks for watching.